Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Now let's talk about the state of our economy. Last month, a Bloomberg article headlined Sri Lanka's rupee goes from Asia's best to worst in three weeks. Pretty arrogant, isn't it? If you ask, this, uh, ask the central bank governor. Of course, that's exactly what the central bank did. Uh, they were very swift to explain why the dip in the rupee and how it'll bounce back. However, Bloomberg isn't letting it go without a fight. They say, quoting a financial analyst agency, Natix, is that the rupee will end the year at 355 to the dollar. To put that into perspective, uh, well, that was the range the rupee existed back in July of 2022 that led to the insurrection resulting in the ousting of former President Gotabe Rajpaksa. However, that ha happening in 2023 was no issue. Why? Well, we are worshipping the IMF called exactly how they say. So how can things go wrong? The current administration on our finances is telling us that apparently we are on the right track. But are you feeling it? Does it feel like we as a nation are on the right track? How are your monthly bills? Does your monthly salary stretch enough to cover the expenditure? Are you praying on a daily basis to all the gods not to bring an unexpected expenses your way? How about many trips you used to take in order to relax in those days? Oh, you're not taking it anymore because everything else is costly? Well, you really look at it, it seems that what our authorities are saying doesn't match what's really happening on the ground. I mean, if you ask those Colombo hoity toity liberal idiot class, of course, it ain't hard for them because all the deals under the IMF have uh, secured the top 1%, but you and me taking the heat from all sides isn't... That's what's happening. While they are slipping their cocktails and going to bougie high teas. So are the policies implemented by the government, like the domestic debt restructuring, really helping the SME sector in Sri Lanka? Mind you, we know for a fact that domestic debt restructuring helps the banks and ergo the top 1%. But what about the rest of the 99% in this nation who's basically the backbone of our economy? Joining me now is the chairman of Blue Ocean Group, Mr. Thumilan Sivaraja. Blue Ocean Group uh, is a Sri Lankan-owned real estate company growing um, currently. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. How have the economic policies, uh, course corrections, and more importantly, the domestic debt restructuring implemented by this government, as per the recommendations of the IMF, uh, has impacted your business? Are things on the right track for you? Yes, Mahesh, uh, this is uh, as you exactly asked, the local debt restructuring which has to be done uh, on the international borrowing. They have to certain extent, they have initiated. But as well as the SME sector point of view, unfortunately, still the banks are not reducing the interest rate. As you correctly said, the debt restructuring, it is a matter of postponing our debts and to a certain extent haircut our creditors which may have a subsequent effect on the future borrowing or international recognition. Uh, as well as uh, the next issue is whether the debt structuring postponing the debt how you are going to create a revenue sources that is GDP. So it is more important to create a GDP to pay off all these debts. So therefore, the government has to push the banks immediately to reduce the interest rate to at least close to the one digit, which is not happen at the moment, which have a severe impact on the SME sectors, including real estate and construction. Yep, indeed, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm sure you, by now you have calculated uh, how your business will proceed uh, in the next few months. What are you, what are you anticipating? It is uh, just, uh, Manshi, this good news is there is a prospective tourism is coming to the country like that. Uh, in our company, the Blue Ocean Residence, uh, Blue Ocean Group, we are getting a lot of sales and the inquiries from the overseas buyers uh, because they want to come for the retirement home and all that. So we are very confident before December, which will be turnarounding in a significant way to boost the economy. 
but the government as you correctly said the government economic uh, fiscal policies also should support and it has to maintain in a consistency manner the one of the main issue at present is the policies are changing at hoc basis uh, suddenly you know the artificial taxes has been introduced suddenly the import ban brought up so therefore the cost of material of the building material has escalated in an artificial way which is not predicted or unforeseen by anybody therefore we would like the government to maintain a consistency policies with with uh, those consistency policies we are very confident we can turn around this industry all right, we have to leave it at that. Uh, good to talk to you. That was the chairman of Blue Ocean Group, Mr. Sivaraja Thumil, and appreciate it. A break now, back with the closing.